it's time to cast Thrud the Barbarian in bronze. Hey guys, last week I created this 3D model using ZBrush. It's based on the amazing comic book character Thrud the Barbarian by Carl Critchlow. And if you hadn't guessed, I'm a big fan. This week I'll be having to go at casting it, and I'll also answer a few questions which I've received lately. I printed this model initially at 90mm tall, but for casting purposes I wanted to see if I could go a little smaller, so I reduced this using lychee, and that leads to my first two questions. What's your preferred slicer? Lychee is my slicer of choice at the moment. I don't just review things guys, I actually use them, and lychee really is a powerful slicer. Why do you pronounce lychee the wrong way? Lychee is how the creators pronounce it, and that's good enough for me. I reduced my thread character to approximately 45mm tall, and got both the base and figure on the build plate of my Frozen Sonic 4 gang. What's your best printer? For detailed print quality, the Frozen Sonic 4K is the best printer I've reviewed to date. I can't say it's the best that's out there, as there are so many available now, but it's certainly the best that I've used. What's your favourite printer? For detailed work, it's the Frozen Sonic 4K. For everyday prints, I like the Mars 2 Pro. There's no real reason for this, it just suits me and does an excellent job. For size, it's the Anycubic Mono X. Whilst Eligu have been kind enough to send me their 4K Saturn, which I'll be showing on this channel soon, I just find myself preferring to use the Mono X. It's purely a personal choice. Now here, once again, I'm printing with my mystery castable resin. What's the mystery resin? Sorry guys, I just can't answer that yet. Honestly, I don't even believe this resin has a name yet. Though the company has rejected my suggestions of Vogs Brew, Vogs Special Blend, and Vogs Elixir of Life. This is probably because I haven't had anything to do with developing this resin, but I thought I'd just try and con my way in. Nuts. Yes, I've knocked the axe off. A little wax fixes things, but it will likely spoil the detail a tad. A common question I'm asked is, do you reuse your video clips? No, absolutely not. It's a cheap trick used by lazy YouTubers. Okay, yes I do but only on the boring bits to save myself a little time. The important sections, like pouring, plunging, etc, are always individually filmed. Why are you using casting crane these days? It's a personal choice. I started off with scrap, but nowadays I'm striving for perfection. I may never achieve it, but to do so, I have to eliminate as many variances as I can. Scrap can yield unexpected flaws, whereas grain gives me consistency, but use whatever your budget allows. What temperature is your metal? That varies depending on the metal that's used, but the advantage of grain is all this information is generally available from the supplier. How do you clean your casts? 
Well, it starts here. Agitating the flask and using a stiff brush gets rid of 99% of the plaster. After that, I use my wife's toothbrush and a bowl of warm soapy water. Some of the plaster can get stuck in tiny recesses, but for me, this tends to fall away when I boil it in water and citric acid, which removes the oxidization. Oh, and that's a point. Why does your metal turn black? Some metals like silicon, bronze and silver oxidize during casting. Other metals like gold don't. It's perfectly natural. What do you call those brushes? I don't think these have actually got a name as it seems to vary wherever I look. This is where I buy mine and what cousins call them, though there are some available on Amazon that fit a Dremel. Well, he hasn't turned out too bad. My wax fixie spoiled a bit of the detail, and some of it, like the face, were always going to be a challenge on something this small. But my mate Thrud the Barbarian now lives in bronze on my shelf. If you missed last week's video, firstly, where were you? I was looking for you. But secondly, as usual, I've made this STL file available to my patrons. Though those fancying to have a stab at printing, painting or casting a tiny headed barbarian can still buy the STL file nice and cheaply on my Etsy store. Subtle hint, subtle hint. <laughs> so there you go guys, a bit of casting and a few common questions answered. And of course, for those that don't watch this video, you'll never know these answers, will you? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one guys, take care and thanks for watching.